Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just kicking from Yixar Us and today we're doing another grocery haul! Oh my goodness, I haven't done a grocery haul for you guys in a while and today I got some, a lot of really exciting things and some really awesome deals so I figured I would share them with you. So today I went to three different places. I went to Food Basic, Centra, and also Sharpest Drug Mark. Now for the most of the items, I'd probably, I spent the most money at Centra because I did buy some meat, well actually quite a bit of meat, um, but it's it was a really good deal and so I'm really just stocking up. Like, I'll, And also this thing, this stuff here, is probably going to last us like two and a half weeks, plus some of it's for my mom, so. Yeah, it was, I'm very happy with this haul. As you can tell, there is a mix of some healthier things and some not as healthy things in here. And we even did some grocery stuff for Nathaniel. Yes, he is actually starting solids now. He's such a big boy. So we'll start with the perishables because then I put them back in the fridge. Food basically was having a really awesome sale. So we got some whipping cream because Ginevra wants to try to make some icing. We've been doing tons and tons of baking. And then also I bought my usual two big huge bags of milk milk um they seem to be at a really good price at both food basic and no frill so that's where i've been getting my milk lately because we don't want to line up for costco uh the other thing that we got from food basics was cheese so i bought i originally got this one which is the black diamond marble cheese which is the one that Geneva really likes um but then i end up seeing this i've never heard of this brand before but it is a pizza mozzarella and that's what caught my eye because i like to put this on my pasta and then i bake it and the thing is they were both on sale for the same price like 488 but this one has 100 grams more so technically this would be a better deal and i'm sure you can eat this in a sandwich too wouldn't be any issues with that so two things of cheese which is awesome actually i got three things of cheese this was a little bit pricier this was the laughing cow cheese which is Ginevra's favorite and Ginevra, mo wave moi say hi she is doing her schoolwork way over there now in my very messy kitchen when your kitchen also becomes your office because during the day you're doing e-learning this is what happens and that's okay yeah so good amount of cheese Ginevra likes to eat this as a snack with some crackers and then like I said cooking and then I eat this as a snack too some other perishable things we got we got two small containers of the international delight in hazelnut which is our absolute favorite for the coffee it tastes really really good with the current coffee that we have which is the lavenza uh crema one i think it's called but yeah it's really yummy with that and it makes it to the point that i don't even miss going out for like cappuccinos and mochaccinos and stuff so yay for that plus we're saving a lot of money like has anyone else ever really noticed that the fact that we can't go out we're saving a lot of money by not going out to buy like a lot of frivolous stuff at least that's what i've noticed for me i haven't done a lot of impulse buys except for today with groceries like grocery shopping is my impulse buy continuing on um we bought two packs of pre-made dumpling my mom has been really awesome and been making us some dumplings but sometimes when we run low and we need an emergency meal we do get the pre-made dumplings i mean normally this is a pretty good brand we've had this before it actually took me forever to find it because they changed the packaging um the other thing that I don't like about it, it does have like MSG in it. There's one company that we buy from that's down in Markham, but right now they are not open because of the pandemic. And it tastes like theirs, they do not put any MSG in it. And so that's where we usually buy our pre-made dumplings if we're buying pre-made. So this one's still pretty good. It's like the last ingredient on the list. So I guess there's like a little bit less of it. Um, but yeah, it's, it is tasty. And these are good both boiled and fried. And like I said, these are just for, it's an emergency meal. If both Nelson and I are working crazy hours and we just don't have time to make dinner. Oh, yeah, let's put this away. Ginevra wants you to see the turtle that she made for school. Well done, Moy. That looks so good. That's a really cute turtle. Next, we bought three things of these Maple Lodge Firms chicken hot dog, chicken wieners, really. They're a little bit more healthier than the regular hot dog wieners. And uh, in an emergency, I will use them in like spaghetti sauces. Like KD. Every kid loves KD with, with cut up hot dogs. Do you? If that was a meal that you had growing up as a kid, let me know in the comments below. I actually didn't end up having that until I was an adult because like well my parents owned a restaurant and so I never had I had Katie the first time at my aunt's house. Yeah. The first time I ever had Katie was at my aunt's house and I think I was probably close to ten years old. So yeah, I didn't grow up with Katie. 
but every now and then we like to have some KD with cut up hot dogs but I do add in a lot of frozen vegetables so that at least there's a little bit of healthiness to it all right next thing um more of the meats I bought some minced meat of the pork it was so pricey but it's again it's one of those things that is just a staple in my freezer it makes really easy for stir fries and also I bought some uh pork bones so that I can make like a pork bone broth for Nathaniel's congee since he's starting solids. I'll put these back in the fridge. I just have them in these like little stainless steel containers so that while I'm uh, trying to portion them out and stick them in the freezer, they don't leak all over my fridge. So the last item for the meats was this insane haul that I got. Nelson was actually just saying yesterday, I want chicken thighs. So I found chicken thighs on sale. This was from Centra and they're 99 cents a pound, which is an incredible price from the last little while. I Gosh, I remember before it used to be like super cheap, something like... 79 cents a pound, but I haven't seen that price in a really long time. But 99 cents a pound is a crazy deal. So I end up buying two, four, five, six, seven, seven packs of it. This will last us for several months. We're gonna end up freezing these, like portioning them out and freezing them. I was I did find another deal at Food Basic where there's a dollar eighty-eight a pound, but they're already divided. But I mean, for almost half the price, I might as well just divide them up myself. These cook really well. I really like cooking them in the um, in the instant pot, making like Chinese stews, or Nelson does a really amazing five spice uh, marinade for barbecue. It's so good. Another thing, I, this, I picked this up from my mom. She makes awesome wontons and dumplings, and she said this is the absolute best brand for the value of it, and it's made in Toronto, which is great because then we're also supporting local local companies um, and only one or two places actually sell them so they're a little hard to find but my mom she absolutely loves these ones so she asked me to pick up six packs of them and they're really freezable which is awesome bread was a good price too bread was a dollar 88 and what i decided to do with the bread is that i was looking at the uh, weight of it when there's 675 grams in each so each loaf they had three options regular texas and um, thin sandwiches. So I figured, you know what, to make the bread last a little bit longer, because we're going through a lot of bread, why not get the thin slice? I don't think my family's really going to notice. And so there'll be more slices in each one, which will last for more breakfasts and more sandwiches. Ah, 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 ah. Sneaky. Sneaky mommy. That's me. Sneaky mama. So I ended up getting two of these. We'll find out. Like, my husband might say something. He's like, babe, why is the bread, like dinner now and then I also bought some uh, hot dog buns mm, I've never had this this brand this is their irresistible brand which is the uh, food basic brand but I never had this one but it looks good I like buns with sesame on it so it should be quite tasty something that you always want to pay attention is the quantity like how much is in um, a particular package because I mean they had one that looked cheaper but it was because there was actually two buns less so it worked out to be a little bit more expensive to buy the cheaper priced one because of the per item value so always make sure you do take a look at that so for nathaniel i end up getting two boxes of the mum mum crackers he really loves these also uh, because he's starting solids he needs help with the fiber department and so it is hard to find pure prunes right now so this was the closest thing that i found it was a mix of apples and prunes it's from simply kids i've never tried this brand either but it should be fine it's organic and there's no sugar or salt added so it should be okay yeah and i just added a little bit of this to basically all of his meals he loves 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 applesauce he is like He'll eat anything with applesauce. Like to get him to eat things without applesauce is a struggle. He absolutely loves his applesauce. So for a treat for Ginevra, I got her some pudding. She finally finished the pudding that we bought last time around. And I mean, it's it's not healthy, guys. Just It's just pudding. It's just a little treat. And also I'm trying to get her to try out different fruits now. So I got some blackberries. Hopefully they're sweet. And if she doesn't like it, we can always make like a compost or something out of it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mr. Turtle. Hello, Mr. Turtle. I bought a bunch of spices. This is an insane amount of spices, even for me to buy. Now, I got this because it was on sale and we're almost out of the Italian season. This one's actually really tasty. I bought this one last time and we really liked it. So, 
for a select for like a like a, a store brand it's really good now paprika i've been cooking with a lot of paprika lately and they had a special deal so i ended up getting three things of paprika one thing of ground ginger because i love ground ginger and ground cumin i've been cooking with a lot more cumin too and it is so tasty so yeah lots of spices um water chestnuts i bought for the fact that we love the crunch and so I got six of those they were on sale so I was really happy with that this I'm really proud of really proud of buying this honey um, I have always been known as a frugal shopper like super frugal shopper but there was a less there was a more frugal option but I decided to spend a little bit more money because this is a product of Canada. So I decided to spend a little bit more money simply because it's made in Canada. So, and this is good honey. We, we like this honey too. Vegetable wise, we also bought some carrots. Now, you'll see two things of carrots which might look a little weird. It's because the uh, Centra, it, they have like ones that are like imperfect. And so they'll sell them like this and they'll be cheaper. Um, this one was like a dollar for probably like what? Two pounds or so worth of carrots, which is decently priced because these ones were 99 cents per pound and so I end up getting both we'll use these ones first and then we'll end up using this one because these ones look not quite as fresh as these ones so and we I put this in everything and Nathaniel really likes carrots too same thing with the lettuce two heads of lettuce for four dollars it's uh, it's not the best price I've ever seen but it's okay it's, they had it so that there were you could also buy two of the like ones that uh, like the fresher ones for five dollars for two but these look pretty good and they look like a decent size so i was like no, let's just get these ones same thing with the sweet potatoes they had this one which is a dollar fifty for two very large sweet potatoes but uh, ginevra loves sweet potato pancakes so i bought that pack which i guess it's like not quite as visually appealing and then i bought some of the other ones this the regular size ones because nathaniel really likes these in his puree too this is lotus root, guys. I've never cooked lotus root before, but I remember my father-in-law, he, at one point, he would dice it up and put it into minced meat and make a minced meat pie out of it. It's really good. The other thing I want to do is I want to try to slice them super thin and make lotus root chips out of it because Ginevra loves lotus root chips and they're super duper yummy. Cucumbers we bought from Centro. There were two for a dollar, which is a really good price. Same thing with the soya sauce. It was a great price and we're almost out because I am cooking so much now. This one I think I got from, oh, I got this from Food Basic. So uh, just cremini mushrooms. We have the choice of either button mushrooms or cremini mushrooms. I figured cremini mushrooms, they don't go on quite as big of a sale. So they were the same price as the butt mushrooms, so we decided to get those ones. Two things of onions, cook with onions all the time. Bananas, bananas, bananas. Again, I always get the bananas in two different ripeness so that we have some that we can eat almost right away, and then these could be saved up for a little bit later. Shanghai bok choy, really great price. These were, I think, 98 cents per pound. Um, my dream of growing our own bok choy from the bottoms, like to cut... Hasn't worked yet. I They've all died. They've kind of just, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if you guys have tips for me, let me know. This is Taiwanese back, uh, Taiwanese Napa uh, or Long Napa. I haven't noticed a difference in flavor. Maybe I'm just putting too much like seasoning on it, but it's, it's cheaper and it's, it's, I don't know, it just works. So we either stir fry this or um, I often I make this is with a cream sauce and that's really yummy. Garlic was a really good price too. 10 bulbs of garlic for a dollar, which is a great price. I love my snow pea shoots. They've gone up in price, but I mean, it's a little treat that we have every now and then. This cabbage is really, really good. I think it's called a Savoy cabbage. If you cut it super thin and you stir fry with some dark soy sauce, and um, some Korean sauce. It's so good. It's really, really yummy. Shallots. I haven't had shallots in a long time. They were super, real, well, super well priced, and so I thought we'd get some shallots for us. Um, and then tomatoes. Now, tomatoes itself were really expensive, like the fresh ones. So I got some slightly in um, the slightly riper ones. So this was a dollar fifty for four, which is good. If I was just to buy it from the barrel, it was like anywhere between two to three dollars a pound, which to me is really pricey for tomatoes. If only Nelson would let me grow tomato plants. He won't let me. He's just, he's worried about bugs. 
So then I decided, okay, if I don't have a lot of fresh tomatoes, I'm going to get some jarred tomatoes and some canned tomatoes. So these, this one here is really good. We've, I've used this quite a few times now, and they're 99 cents. However, today I found that the Life Smart brand here from Food Basics, they have a new product, which is the ground tomatoes and has no salt added. So this looks really similar to this for me. So I'm going to try it to see if it's the same. And if it's the same, this is actually a slightly better deal because the quantity is a little bit higher. So this is $7.96 and this is $6.60 and they're the same price. So I will try that out. The last for the produce wise is these beautiful, gorgeous ori oranges or tangerines or whatever they are from Israel. These are Nelson's absolute favorite citrus fruit. It is delicious. It has such a nice aroma to it. And it's, oh my gosh, every single one we've bought has been delicious. So you can't go wrong with these ori Ori clementines. I don't know. I, I don't know if they're clementines or oranges or where are they? I got two boxes of reactant for allergy relief. Every time that I go out to do groceries or if I'm doing um, order drop off to prevent myself from touching my face so much, I've been taking an allergy pill because I mean, I do have really bad allergies throughout the year. And so this one here, I got such a good deal on it. I had to tell you guys about it. It's regular $27. I got it down to $17.99 because it was on sale. But then there was also another $3 off coupon on it. So I'm really happy with that purchase and they don't expire until 2022. Final purchase that I bought and I think that this was a bit of a, uh, I went a little overboard with this one. <laughs> I bought a ginormous bag of flour. We have been baking and making our own bread a lot more. We haven't done pasta in a while, but we made gnocchi. I think I'm saying that right. And that was so much fun, so much work, which you never absolutely loved. It. And they were delicious. And so Nelson was like, yeah, babe, you should get another bag of flour. And I think he th was telling me to buy like, you know, like the five pound bag or the 10 pound bag. Guess what I bought? <laughs> I bought a 20 kg bag of flour i know i'm crazy but okay hear me out the five pound bag was something like 6.99 okay so it's for 2.5 kg okay it was like 6.99 all right somewhere around there but this one here for 20 kg was 19.99 how could I not choose that one? Even if I split it with my mom and my in-laws, it's still a better deal. <laughs> I'm starting to deal shop again. Hey, the world is starting to maybe settle down a little bit because I'm, I'm deal shopping again. But yeah, it was such a good price and the, I had to get help to move it into my cart because it was also stacked up to here and I couldn't pull it down so I ended up getting help. But yeah, it was such a good deal and so I figured, you know what? We'll just bake more. That is our haul. I mean, it's not all laid out here right now. Oh, this was not part of my haul. This is a multi-purpose that I use. It's the Kachina from Fruits and Passion. It smells really nice. It doesn't smell like a cleaner. It smells just really pretty. Um, yeah, so I have to... But yeah, this is our haul, and so, oh no, I forgot to talk about this. I forgot to talk about mustard. Mustard was on sale. We've been barbecuing, and therefore we need mustard. Also, barbecue sauce. I made my own beans yesterday. They turned out really well. I just added a splash of this and some maple syrup. It was really good. And then, of course, the sauce I can never pronounce. I use this a lot, when, especially when I'm cooking um, beef or spaghetti sauce. It's yum. And now, that is my haul. Oh my gosh, I feel like I was slightly like all over the place this time around. But it was really fun to get out of the house and do some grocery shopping. Seriously, grocery shopping is like the highlight of my outings now. And so I told Nelson that he should go next time simply because I, <laughs> I've been hogging that task to go out. It's like my reason to do my hair. <laughs> Besides when I go out to do my Avon drop-offs. So the total that I spent on all my groceries can, is going to be right here for you. And I want to know, how have you guys been feeling about the grocery prices? Do you feel like they've kind of stabilized now? They've gone up, gone down? And how about the amount of, like, the variety? Have you noticed a change in that in your local grocery store? I have noticed a bit of a change. and uh, But overall, we still get most of the things that we've, we've been wanting to get. So I'm, I'm not complaining whatsoever. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button.
subscribe button as well as a little bell icon beside it so you get all of our video notifications. I do try to upload as often as I can. Just life has been absolutely chaotically busy right now with work and then of course with Genova's e-learning and taking care of a baby. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you give us a big fat thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Stay well, stay safe guys and don't forget to wash your hands. Love you. Bye.